children of the light of the sun. I am come, and I am Michael, and the cosmic being faith with me does in soul in you the power of the Almighty One. Blessed light of all ages, hear then the release of sacred fire. Hear then that release, for none shall now reduce the light and the power of this word going forth. Therefore, hear me, for the power of the word does now reach every atom and molecule of your being, for you have indeed prepared this chalice to receive of my heart. I am the outpouring of the heart of the universal mother. I am the confounding of the tongue of the seed of the wicked. I am the confounding of the liar and the lie and the murderous intent. Therefore, ye who are called of God as God's people, welcome to the heart and the ranks of the archangels. So in the name I am that I am, be seated. The full power of the Holy Spirit be upon you and the seven rays of God now penetrating the seven planes of the chakras of your beings. I am blazing the light into manifest action and I am binding the very force itself of all attempts to reduce the impact of this mighty word in every nation on this planet and in the very depths of the sea. And you, therefore, shall give accounting this day, you fallen ones across the earth who have attempted to silence the saints and priests of Melchizedek, the messengers and the prophets, those who have come in the name of this word. You will no longer silence them, for I am speaking to the very heart of these, my own. I am speaking unto the very source of being, and I say to you, resist not the intensity of truth. For truth shall and can speak through you if you will seek and desire with all of your heart that calling of the Holy Spirit. For it is the Holy Spirit of the mighty archangels that is for the conversion of earth in this hour. And this is the turning around of the downward course of civilization which you have seen with your very eyes. Now, therefore, beloved, stand fast and behold the salvation of your God and behold the judgment of the fallen ones who have arrayed themselves against the person of the Divine Mother in every nation. For in every nation the Divine Feminine is raised up in men and women and in children, and all have begun to speak in the name of the Mother, but not all have brought the desired teaching of the Mother. Therefore, O hearts of living flame, be purged for the purifying then of the sons of the priesthood and the daughters of Melchizedek must come in this hour, and you may be purified and tried and made white if you no longer resist then the winds of change and the power of the violet flame that does come to you. Therefore, beloved ones, the line is drawn, and there is a great liberation in the power of the first ray and the judgment of the Lord Christ through us. For you see, when evil is bound, as when you root out the weeds of a garden, so the flowers blossom, and they come forth in joy and in a new freedom, for they are not choked off by the binding roots of materialism and the seed of sinfulness devouring itself 
in a cancer that is preying upon the bodies of the world this day. I am Archangel Michael of the first ray, and I say to you, my presence here and now is also for the shattering of force fields within you that have lingered too long from ancient Atlantis when you were drawn into the cults of the fallen angels and the gods and their evil and their wickedness in their animal forms and miscreations. Beloved ones, the cults of Satan have had their day upon this planet, and that day is done, and the light of Almighty God does descend for the purging, and the raising up of the seed of light is come. Therefore, let the records of the entanglement of the children of the sun with these cults of the fallen ones be purged in this moment from your auras, from your mind and consciousness. I am that way of the sacred fire. I am that mighty deliverance, and I am releasing the fire of God, the sacred fire as that wrath of God that does consume that recalcitrance, that resistance that does come from old and naughty records of compromise and being involved in these very cults. No wonder they have gone forth to accuse the light bearers of the cults, for they themselves are the ones who originated the only cults that have ever existed on this planet which are the cults of Satan, the cults of materialism, and the misuse of the sacred fire. Let these then be exposed, and all of their promoters in the public schools, and in the media, and throughout the field of psychology, and even religion, and let the false priests within the church be cast down. Let those fallen ones who have defiled the church of Christ be bound, and let those who know who are the hierarchs of these churches now receive the judgment, for they have failed to challenge the very corruption of the altar of God, and therefore a corrupt altar is no altar, and we will take in preference the altar of the heart of the children of the sun. We will take the altar prepared and the place in the wilderness. We will take the humble abode of the pure in heart and we will say, here is the vicar of Christ. Here is Christ's representative in each and every one of these little ones who have kept the purity of the flame, of the tabernacle, of the light, of the holy of holies. So let purity abound. And where purity doth abound, so let the Spirit of the Lord be. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And there is the liberty to set those captives free. And they are set free by the power of the word that I do speak to you now. And this church, universal and triumphant, is set free from the gates of death and hell who would torment and defile and tear down. Their day is done, and their cults of infamy are exposed, and their vibration shall be no more, and you will stand and see the salvation of our God, and you will know that once and for all the teachings of the saints of heaven, the hosts of the Lord, and of Jesus Christ himself, shall prevail in their totality in the fullness of the cup of communion which he gave to drink. Thus drink ye all of it. These are the words of Christ. Do not turn back, blessed ones of light. Do not turn back when you see the day approach that demands of thee something that God has required of thee and will require of thee unto the end of thy incarnations ere the resurrection be attained. Beloved ones, what are all these things when the power of God is offered to you in the sharing and blessing of communion 
this day, beloved ones of the living flame of light. I am Archangel Michael, and I serve to you communion in this hour. Let everyone drink then and understand the drinking in of the wine of the Spirit of the Lord Christ. Let everyone know that assimilation of the body of God in this earth. I transfer to you then, building upon the mighty work of Chamuel and Charity, the borders of faith the sealing of that electromagnetic field by this mighty sphere of blue, descending from the heart of Serapis Bay, descending from the heart of the great central sun. And my spirit, saith the Lord, will not always strive with flesh. Beware then, ye who come in the service of the Holy of Holies, Wash then and be cleansed in the river Jordan. Be cleansed holy and know that thy service must accelerate into the heart of victory. No, not I, but God in me is the word. Know this law of thy being. Know the fullness of rejoicing in the spirit and the body. In the blood of Christ, know the transforming power, know the pathway of divinity was set and is set forevermore in the universal Christ, who always has been your advocate before the throne of grace. For before Abraham was, I am that I am, and I am in that spirit on the Lord's day, and that spirit here and now is the Holy Spirit come upon you, Receive then the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost in the name of your Lord and know that God desires to empower ye who resist not, ye who understand how the self-qualification process must proceed, how you must absorb and internalize the word and how that word will go forth from you when you have prepared the way in your innermost recesses of being. Blaze the light through now, O seraphim of God. Blaze the light of the lightning angels. Blaze the light of the great central sun magnet. Lo, I am that light and that fire. Lo, I am that light and that fire. Lo, I am that light and that fire of Alpha and Omega. Here and now, I am in the victory of the God flame. And I am Archangel Michael, and I am clothing our messenger with that flame of victory. And I am clothing you with your flame of victory now. And it is God's victory, and that victory will not be denied in your life unless you yourself deny it, beloved ones. And indeed, by free will, you can deny the victory. And therefore, I say, watch and pray that in every act and word and thought and deed, you therefore affirm the power of God victory, and you deny the power of all defeat and defeatism, and death and cynicism. Praise the light of the great central sun magnet. Praise the light of the great central sun magnet. By the power of my flame, I am extending to you my right hand and my left hand as the pillars of Alpha and Omega. And the cosmic being faith does extend the power of the feminine ray in the right hand and in the left hand now. And there is a mighty figure eight flow as these twin pillars are also established here. And you will see in the very heart of the earth a holding of the balance in the city of Los Angeles, and that balance is held, and that balance is for the power of the mighty threefold flame that is born. And you shall see then the transformation of your world, for you have been this day, beloved ones, in a presence of the archangels who come, beloved hearts, flaming from the central sun, and bear to you an extraordinary light, which if you will use it, beloved ones, and not lose it, you will come to the day of your salvation, and you will see and know that in this life you can be transformed, and you can enter into the fiery coil of the ascension, as was prophesied to you, as was demonstrated to you, as was revealed to you in the life of Jesus Christ and of Enoch and of those who have gone before. Thus the saints robed in white in heaven are the testimony of the path of the ascension. And beloved ones, will you wait for another round to pass from the screen of life 
to be on the other side to recognize that you have once again, due to the false pastors, missed the course of your ascension and your resurrection, I say to you, give answer this day before the Lord God Almighty. Will you or will you not take your victory in this hour and receive it of me? I ask you and I demand the answer. Yes! Beloved ones, I give it to you as God has given it to me, as surely as God gave to me his full flaming presence for the deliverance of your souls when many of you were embodied as the children of Israel, as you were therefore bound to the Egyptian slavery of death and materialism and bondage to the outer self of the fallen angels, the pharaohs, beloved ones of light, Understand as surely as I was the instrument of the Lord's deliverance all the way to that promised land, and as I have been the instrument of your deliverance all the way to the United States of America, I say to you now, I am your deliverance and the Lord's instrument thereof of the transfer of light for your own ascension. You have only to go out in this hour to win it, to prove it, to manifest the glory of God day unto day and night unto night until your round is finished. And the lords of karma have decreed unto you a certain round which you are capable of fulfilling. And sometimes when you are weary, the step of Saint Germain at your right hand and the words of comfort, keep on keeping on, are the only thing that you can see when you face the adversary or the burden of your own karma. Beloved ones, keep on keeping on. Put your right foot and then your left and move forward and take those steps and we will do the rest. We will be there before the court of the sacred fire and in the courts of the world. We will be there as the witness of the light and the victory, but you must play your part. You must speak the truth where truth must be a sword that cleaves asunder the real from the unreal. Therefore, do not withhold the word of truth wherever you are, beloved ones, from out the heart of the great central sun. I am delivering unto your hearts now a flame that does rise, a flame that does come to the center of the throat chakra, the will of God, the 16 petal chakra, therefore centered. Beloved ones of the central sun, I am that I am. I am in the presence of your mighty I am presence who sends forth to you this day a clear ray of light for the quickening of the power of the word within you by that Holy Spirit. I come to you now in the magnificence of the God flame. Woe to the evolutions of mankind who reject, therefore, the intercession of the archangels. For I tell you the day will come when you will need us, all of us in the hour of world transition, when you will be grateful that you have learned to call upon the name of the Lord and to call upon the names of the Lord's angels when you will know that we will also move heaven and earth to rescue you, comfort you, protect you, and seal you. Beloved ones, it is well in preparing for the storms of life to build and gather a momentum of the whirlwind of the sacred fire. It is well to walk with God in the days of gladness, in the days of peace, that thy God with thee might succor thee in the days of death and destruction and of war. Pray God these will not manifest physically, but even the manifestation on the astral plane is sufficient to tear down many a weak and faint heart who may thrive in the presence of a stronger life stream, but does not fare well for want of momentum in the aloneness of the desert which every true disciple of Christ will face, as Jesus did also. It is your victory to pass the tests of the tempter at every hand. It is your joy to learn the way. It is learning and achieving. It is coming to understand where you have failed in the past and what were the mistakes. Getting up and moving again 
moving on then and saying, this time I understand all the rules of the game and the strategies of these fallen ones. This time I understand the philosophy of the tempters and the serpents. This time I have learned from the Divine Mother all of their evil ways, and I will not be moved, I will not be fooled, I will not be set aside from my path of the glorying in the Lord. I am the blazing action of the great central sun magnet. I am the fury of the Elohim of God. I am the will of God made manifest. I am that light descending and that heavenly light now, and I am the purging, therefore, of the priesthood of Melchizedek, of those false priests who are the betrayers of the word and who do not come to build but to defile. Therefore, my word shall not be defiled, saith the Lord, neither in church nor in state. The word of God shall not be defiled. The word of God shall not be defiled. The word of God shall not be defiled. Thus I stamp my mantra with mighty victory upon every grain of sand and erg of energy on planet Earth. My word shall not be defiled, saith the Lord. My word shall not be defiled. Therefore let the sacred fire be raised up let the all-seeing eye of God be open. Let discernment and discernment of spirits and discrimination be the gift of the sons and daughters of God by that Holy Spirit that you might have your inner sight open, that you might see the light and darkness and know that though the dark ones pronounce the same words, yet their vibration is their judgment, their evil intent and motive is their judgment, they are desiring and lusting after the light of the sons and daughters of God is their judgment now. And that pure word spoken by the little child in your midst is the power of that judgment, beloved ones. So I have come. Let the nations give attention, for I stand in every nation upon earth. I stand for the shaking of the bastions of tyrants and the tumbling down of the betrayers of the people. Let them fall. Do not preserve your idols. Let them fall. And let the very vacuum of leadership be the opportunity for the sons and daughters of God to rise up and take dominion over the earth. Lo, I am that sacred fire. Lo, and none shall calculate the decibels of my word and therefore attempt to tamper with it. None shall turn it back. None shall stand in the way of the full power of my being, reaching every heart and mind and soul, for the very physical atoms do quiver with the vibration of the word of the sons of God and of archangels and of Elohim and of the great white brotherhood. Therefore, beloved children of the Son, send forth the word, send it forth now for the binding of tyrants and injustice in every nation. So it is done in the Philippines, so it is done in America, so it is done in Russia and in China, in every nation of Africa. So it is done, so it is done, so it is done. Let the tyrants be bound in the name of Saint Germain, in the name of the dispensations of the Cosmic Council. And let the sons and daughters of God prepare the children of the light and educate them properly for their responsibilities as true representatives and world servers. And therefore, let not there be a vacuum, but let there be the filling in by the light bearers of every nation who have been called once again to the divine government of the mother, the mother in Lemuria, the mother Omega, the universal light of Mary. May you bear the light of the mother. May you be the light of the mother. May you have recourse to Mother Mary. May you have recourse to beloved Helios and Vesta. May the circle of fire be drawn. May the seraphim of God and fiery salamanders seal, seal, seal this city and let it become a city of light and let darkness flee, and let those who flee then be bound by a mighty cord and ring of angels, blue lightning angels of Astraea, blue lightning angels of my bands. So they surround the city now, and they bind those demons and discarnates 
who would flee the very wrath of God and the coming of the hosts of the Lord, and they are bound, and they are removed from this planetary home. For I, Archangel Michael, give forth the word in the name of the Lord Christ. They are bound, and they are purged in this hour. Therefore, I let the vacuum that is left by the infestations of these hordes be filled by the preaching of the word, by the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ and Saint Germain. Let it blaze forth, and let there be teachers who will teach and enlighten the children and youth and all people as to the advocacy of their souls by the entire spirit of the great white brotherhood who is now assembled and who does now stand with Saint Germain. For Saint Germain has sent forth the call for his dispensations to descend for the swallowing up of that darkness and for his message to go forth. And therefore the Cosmic Council has been petitioned and Saint Germain has been granted that dispensation for the covering of the earth with his own teaching, with the path of the seventh ray and with the everlasting gospel. And as the dispensation is granted, so it is granted to every child of God's heart who will take the mantle, who will call forth the mantle of Elijah, who will call forth the mantle of Lanello and Moses, of Christ and Buddha, who will go forth and who will fearlessly proclaim that word. Beloved ones, it is the enlightenment of the Holy Spirit and the teaching of charity that is the only hope for the avoidance of planetary darkness and karma. Therefore, go forth in the mighty word of the Lord and proclaim the coming revolution in higher consciousness and I, Michael, shall be with you, and I will stand, and I will not leave you, for I am with you in the name of Saint Germain and Portia, in the name of the Lords of Karma, in the name of the Lord Christ, in the name of the Holy Christ, self of all, and in the name of every light there on earth, sent from God, who in this hour must be awakened, must be shaken to the realization of God, must be brought into the knowledge of his own I am presence, and therefore we go with you, let therefore the souls of light qualify themselves and be not consumed of evil, but overcome evil by the all-consuming fire of love. The all-consuming fire of love then does go forth, beloved hearts. It is the sacred fire of the ruby ray. Thus call upon the Lord and he will answer you. And I will deliver that answer in person. Beloved ones, run then for the victory. Run for the sun and be one. For the oneness of your love is truly a chalice unbroken and the seamless garment. Therefore, the seamless garment of the entire spirit of the great white brotherhood be upon you. In the name of holy faith, I seal you. I blaze the light now and I am the encirclement now of your chakras, of your aura, and the power of God is released for the mending of the flaws. We will mend the flaws. We will mend the flaws. We will mend the flaws. So it is done in the name of the great divine director. It is sealed. Let us welcome the legions of light of Archangel Michael in this city. Let us give our joy and praise to this mighty Archangel. Hail Archangel Michael! Hail Archangel Michael! Hail Archangel Michael! Hail Archangel Michael!
beloved Archangel Michael, the Grand Parade. Number 299. 